So, how to measure net energy? Uh, just a reminder of the previous uh, section of these videos uh, is that net energy is calculated as energy gain or energy retention plus fasting reproduction. So, this means that for measuring net energy, we need to measure first energy gain and then to measure or to estimate fasting reproduction. With regard to energy gain, there is a first technique that has been widely used in the past, which is the, the so-called comparative slaughter technique. This technique consists in measuring the final energy content in the body of an animal minus its initial energy content at the beginning of the experiment or the beginning of the trial. So we obtain there the energy gain over the trial. This technique has been widely used in the past, uh, even in uh, first in small size animals, but also in larger size animals. But this technique has been progressively used, uh, pr probably replaced uh, by the so-called calorimetry methods, consisting in measuring or evaluating or calculating heat production. So the, these techniques uh, are more uh, very much used now, uh, and uh, the most popular technique for that is the so-called indirect calorimetry and in usually in open circuit respiration chambers consisting in measuring the oxygen uptake of an animal and the carbon dioxide production. And so the heat production is calculating according to a formula uh, taking into account the oxygen uptake and the carbon dioxide production. So this technique is widely used now in most uh, types of animals and even in small size animals like poultry or fish. And from that heat production that is measured in the chamber, uh, we can calculate the amount of energy gain or retained energy as the difference between AB intake and heat production. So the second aspect of the net energy measurements is to get estimates or values for fasting reproduction. 